Hello, I'm Andy, and I'm going to talk to you about a program called Tarot Your Love Story for the month of October 2018. And this is for you coming from Virgo. So let me first start with the first 15 days of October and what do they bring to you for your area of romance for you coming from Virgo. It's a dangerous card. It says somebody you've known before, maybe not had a romance yet, but that somebody wants to come into your romance. But it's a dangerous card in the sense that there are many issues which are underlying and the real reason why that person wants to find his or her way into your heart can be a bit dicey, so you need some time to check on that. The other thing I worry about is some kind of rebelliousness is also seen in this person. So you are going to inherit somebody in the form of a new romance as somebody very difficult. Your ongoing romance can also have plenty of delays in finding solutions. And so there's something frustrating that's bringing depression <coughs> and bringing a lot of issues. So not a very good first 15 days in the romance areas for you coming from Virgo. But I would say that the, this card shows that what you can build a nice bonding for yourself in the first 15 days, which means you can improve your area of romance. Let's talk about your marriage now. And regarding your marriage, it says, Apart from past issues troubling you, is you listening to me? A part of past issues troubling you, nothing else is really bad in your marriage. So don't make too much about what's happened in the past about with your marriage partner. That, I may refer that to your area of romance as well. So in your marriage, don't want to think about past issues and what has happened in the past. Try to forget all that and your marriage area will definitely improve for you coming from Virgo. So area of marriage can be very much improved through togetherness. And there's also talk about a holiday or being together about it. So get your marriage partner and you to become excited and to go on holidays and be happy together. Now I'm going to go to a general family situation which includes your parents and siblings and aunties and uncles. It's not a very good card. It says somebody from there, I'm sorry to say this, but somebody from there, is it your aunties, uncles, siblings or your partners are going to create a lot of problems for you, whether it's in the area of romance or marriage. And some things which are going to be said or spoken may have some secretiveness about them. So I would say whatever happens in your marriage romance area, stay clear of asking for any advice from any relatives, including parents or siblings. Now I'm going to go to your last 15 days and pull a card last 15 days of October regarding your romance and let's see for you coming from Virgo what happens. It's a card of aggression. So the last thing you want to be is aggressive. No provocation. Don't use words which are smarting and attacking. Action should be very nice and polite. And you'll see that your last 15 days in your romance area will improve dramatically well. And if you find a new romance, it's got to do with something with money. I'm not saying that the person wants money from you, but something about money, something about investment. So you could, you could meet somebody who's talking to you about investment, for example. And for you, somebody from, uh, somebody from Virgo, I would say in the first, uh, I'm talking of the last 15 days, I would say that be very careful. And also whether it's new romance, whether it's ongoing romance, Tell yourself there is a networking going on which is forming complications. So keep your financial advice to yourself and keep whatever you know about your own financial situation. Don't want to discuss it too openly. That's got to do with your new romance partner you find or your ongoing romance. Let me talk to you about your marriage now for you coming from Virgo. It's a good enough card. It just says there are differences of opinion. That's small matter. It's a good enough card. So long term things like marriage are safer. New romances have a problem. And this card shows that there's a lot of bonding that can take place long term. So you want to take the trouble to have a good, nice relationship with your ongoing romance partner or with your marriage partner. A lot of improvement can be seen in the last 15 days. 
Let's see what your family areas, what your family areas want to say <coughs> about this. Complications. So I would say wherever your siblings, brothers, sisters, aunties, uncles, or your parents are concerned, you do not want to ask them for advice about the state of your romance or state of your marriage. Simple as that. Stay away because they are going to produce stress in what they say and do upon your marriage or romance. Now I'm going to talk to you about your lucky dates, D-A-T-E-S, for you coming from Virgo. And this is for the whole month of October. It's a very good card. It's a card of growth and finding importance. And so the dates I would choose for you would be the 3rd, the 12th, the 21st or the 30th. The 12th, the, the, the 3rd, the 12th, the 21st and the 30th are going to be very powerful dates for you in the area of romance or marriage. The wonderful bonding, the wonderful togetherness, the building up of trust and love on the 3rd, 12th, 21st and 30th. Bookmark them, go out together and you will see some wonderful reactions and some wonderful trust will all start to build up. Now I'm going to talk to you about uh, your lucky ages for you coming from Virgo. This is the card of unexpected goodness. So your lucky ages will be from these numbers. Your lucky ages will be from these numbers. If you happen to be the ages of 22 or 31 or 40 or 49 or 58 or 67 or 75, you're going to be one very lucky person. Not 75, sorry, 76. You're going to be one very lucky person. And you're going to do very well if you're of these ages. If you're not of these ages, well, don't worry too much. Come and see me for a personal reading of 90 minutes, which will cost you USD 50. And I will tackle your next seven, eight or nine years in all areas of your life. I'll give you more information a bit later. So these are that. Now I'm going to pull a card for you, for your lucky colors. For you coming from Virgo, is it? From Virgo, yes. Is the color of the sky in his, and the universe in his wonderfulness. And it says definitely the color light blue. Wear plenty of light blue under clothing, top clothing, and you'll become very, very lucky in the month of October. All right. And now I'm going to go into the area of somebody of a zodiac sign who can create problems for you, you coming from Virgo. And that somebody, let's see who it is. Well, there are two possibilities. I'm going to go for Leo. I'm going to say that somebody from Leo could produce plenty of you, plenty of problems in romance, in marriage, interferences. And if your marriage partner or romance partner happens to come from Leo, you'll, you'll have to be very, very careful what you say or what you do. Sparks can fly very fast and problems can emerge very fast. So anybody from Leo, you'll be, have to be very careful. Don't want to share secrets. Don't want to say too much. So this is for the whole month of October. Now, who can you f afford to form an attachment, whether for romance or even if you're married, somebody who could become your best friend and become very helpful or even more. And for you coming from Virgo, this person would be from Capricorn. So somebody from Capricorn wants to help you a lot, even financially, it says you can go to this person. So somebody from Capricorn can help you whether in romance, marriage or even in financial areas. If your marriage partner or your romance partner or the new romance you find is from Capricorn, that would be very good news for the month of October. A lot of togetherness and a lot of support. So that's that. Now I'm going to talk to you about sexual energy. Yes, of course, romance and marriage, a lot to do with sexual energy. It's the three basic energies the physical, the emotional and the mental getting together and they form the sexual energy. All these three things got to be right. One of them is not right. You can have many, many problems. And what does it say for you from Virgo? Your sexual energy is strong, it says, but will not last for very long. Now, what does that mean? It means that you may lose interest. You coming from Virgo, you may lose interest with the person you are with in sexualness and it could also mean that somehow you don't want to stay very long in sexual activity with this person so your sexual energies are 
very dicey and not very stable for the month of October. Well, that's what I have to say about a general uh, a reading for you, coming from Virgo. I'm already Skyping and I'm charging USD 50 for a 90-minute Skype session. And during these 90 minutes, I'll talk to you about your next seven or eight or nine years. And based on that, I'll be able to help you find plenty of solutions. And I'll give you plenty of good news for the betterment, your lucky colors, your lucky days, your lucky directions, your lucky gemstones. And I'll give you a personal lottery numbers based on your date of birth, time of birth as well. And based on that, I'll be able to help you to find exactly how to get your next seven, eight or nine years as good as possible in all areas of your life. So go to Facebook, go to Skype, go to WhatsApp, get your contact with me and I'll come back to you with a date and you'll get your 90 minutes which will cost you USD 50 and I'll be able to help you know exactly what to do and how things are going to work out in your next seven, eight or nine years. Until then, thank you and good luck.